Okay, I think we're just about ready for plotting. The only thing we haven't done is uh, patch a couple of little LED fixtures that we've got. Now, unfortunately, my little LED fixtures come from a little factory in China and they've put their DMX values in places that this console doesn't really understand. So, in patch, what we're going to do, we're going to add five new lights from, uh, let's say, uh, 105 uh, through what do we say, 105 through uh, 109, let's see, oops, I hit the wrong thing there, let's try that again, add fixture, 105 through 109, enter. Okay, so down the bottom of the screen here, we have five uh, channels that have been added. Now, they have been set with uh, DMX addresses uh, in groups of four, so there's four channels of control and um, so what they are effectively is an RGB uh, light so uh, I've got a generic thing here that says RGB so I'm going to turn them all into RGB but the RGB is only three channel, one for red, one for green, one for blue these little Chinese uh, uh, manufactured lights have an intensity and strobe combined control channel that is the first channel and then it's red, green, blue. So what I've done is I've actually patched them down on the stage. Well, for, take for example the first one. It's actually patched down on the stage at 200. I'm going to put 201 in RGB. And then all I need to do is make sure that channel 200 is at full and I'll have control over that light. I'll show you what I mean. Let me patch the other ones first. So I've got 201. That one, in fact, we'll do the first one again. It's 2.201. Then we've got 2.20, uh, 2.217. All right. Yes, those numbers look vaguely correct to me. So all I then need to do is make channels 200, 204, 208, 212 and 216 be at full and those lights will work because I can control the RGB then independently from the intensity control. So I'm going to do a little cheat here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into patch by output and in patch by output I'm going to type because when you're in, in patch by output and you start typing in the command line, everything's referring to the output. I'm going to go, if I just type 200, you'll see on the screen it says output 200. So I'm going to go 200 and uh, 2.200 and 2.204 and 2. Point, fat finger syndrome, 2.208 and... 2.212 and 2.216 and make them captured. So you see here on S2, I'm going to capture that output at 100%. And what that means is that those lights are now switched on. Those DMX channels are at 100% and no matter what I do anywhere else on the console, those channels will be captured and stay at 100%. So that means I'll go to live and uh, you'll see on my screen here I've, got, um, I've now got a bunch of these things with these little uh, uh, orange circles underneath. These last five here are my LEDs. If I take them to full on my stage you'll see some pretty LED lights. Beautiful. Look at that. I can fade them up and down. I can uh, grab individual ones. Let's turn them all off. I can turn that one on. I can turn that one on. Okay, and you get the sense of the four channels that I've got to con five channels I've got to control. All right, beautiful. And that is moving light patching, or at least the basics of it.